All right, guys, we're back with heel, damn it, heel. Because this is what people do, and, you know, it, it's like you're saying you're going to teach somebody to do something. They don't even know what they're doing, you know. They, they don't know how to teach a dog to heal. These people that are these supposable trainers don't even know how to train. How are these people at home supposedly trained these dogs to heal? And the dog just won't do it. So I think, and Lucy, if you're there, I'm going to post some videos today how to get started. But this is just what you want to think of. I've already got a dog here that's got all kinds of momentum. Okay, so I'm thinking to myself, well... How hard would it be to change the direction of that momentum? Hi, Amber. Uh, it would, I'm saying to myself, okay, this is what I think you guys have to think. I've got a dog with all kinds of momentum. It's already in motion. It's, it's going to be easier to change the direction of that than it is to stop it. So I'm just bending. I'm just bending the dog. And you can see him. I don't know if he's, he's got a yogurt thing in his mouth. He just went racing into the back. Oh, hello, Monica. I'm gonna just, I'm sure you deal with this all the time. I, I honestly get frustrated and hopeless with people because they don't even wanna be better handlers. They just blame everything on the dog. I'm to the point now, it's not the dog. If you've had a dog for two years and this dog has all these terrible behaviors, that's you. You know, that's what I tell them, you know? And I mean, you've gotta to say to yourself, okay, these people, what are they good at in their life? You know, if you said, what about Kelly? Yeah, that one thing. She can't even change batteries. She can't even change a battery. You know, so they're not good at that at all. So I'm thinking to myself, here's a dog. It's moving around. I could get it over here and make it sit and stay. And it would have sort of a, with a pinch collar and a leash strike while it sat there. While I said, look, it doesn't even move. It's, it's going to be thinking of ways to get away from me. He's got perpetual motion. So I'm just saying to myself, it's going to be easier to change the direction of that momentum and get it moving towards me than it is try to stop it because that's what people are doing. They're trying to stop it. So I'm going to always, if I have not set a precedent adding my pager from far away, then I have to do that because there is always an away. I'm gonna wait until he's going away. You know, he's perpetual motion. That's just who he is. If I said, well, I'm going to get him, I'm going to make him sit and stand, like, well, that worked for a little while. But if his real joy is moving around, then I better try to be a part of that as opposed to the antidote to that. I think that makes sense. I know that makes sense to you, Monica. But, you know, if people get these dogs, these huskies, you get a Doberman, you get a Weimaran, or you get an Upland game dog, and then you don't want it to run around, you want it to sit and stay, no, that's not going to work. All right, so look, I'm going to do my pager, and I'm going to... Betty! All I did was get him moving in my direction. So I'm saying to myself, you know, and I, don't, I think if you don't have one that you can get on a platform and it'll look dead at you like that, it's, you know, you've got to say to yourself, how into you is this dog? If it isn't looking at you, you've got to do all that before you can even go on. Oh, look, he gives me a shake. Dog and training. Well, if you can't get one to look at you, you know what I mean? You've got to do it with food. But even with food, you're not going to be able to make them do it if they sit. And now I can make him go with me. I'm not trying to take him away. Heel. He's just going with me. You know, we're still moving around. I'm driving him. I'm driving him towards that turn. You know, we're driving. We're driving. We don't want to go for a drive. I'm driving him towards that turn. So I've got all this momentum going forward. I'm driving him towards that turn. We're still moving. We're just moving together. And then I can, you know, I mean, once you get them going, you can add that. But I'm driving him. I'm fast, faster, driving into that turn. I'm driving him forward. So the difference, dog and train. All right, he's got to do one of his returns. You get, better get out of the way, Molly.
It's a wrap. So that's what I want you to think. There's that big, if you've got huskies or anything, you've got to have them have, I hope you guys can see all that. Was I even there? Um, you know, that's what you've got to think of. I'm taking this momentum that this dog already has. It's not a turtle. You know what I mean? If you said it's a turtle, and now you're trying to make it go, you're just getting behind the wheel and driving this thing around, as opposed to try to pull it and make it go back beside you. If, if you're driving it, and you always need to be driving into that turn, even if you only accomplished, oh, he's over there jumping up in the tree trying to get these squirrels. You know, but I could get him over here. I'm sure you hear him. Oh, no, he's, he's actually jumping up and biting the... Uh, He's actually jumping up and biting the... All right, good, so I'm gonna show you guys. Oh, he's gone. All right, but watch this. Sadiq! driving him around. You know, I'm not, he thinks he wants to come back over here. And if you said, why does he think that? Because I will give him a nick and make him come back over there and in a very impersonal way. That's just how the world is. That's just how the world we live in is. If he's back there in the bushes, and I say to come, and he doesn't come, a very impersonal demarcation line drops down and drives him back in my direction. You've got to drive, you know, it's, that's the bottom line. If all the dog's momentum is going away from you, and you're not entered in the Iditarod, that's not good, and that's how somehow you've taught. You mean, if you said, you mean they teach those dogs to pull? Yeah, they already do it, but I mean, they are able to augment whatever the dog's doing, just like the people. I mean, that's what these people should do. They should go get jobs as sled dog trainers. You know, that's what you need to say to yourself. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go get uh, Lucy, if you're there. I'm going to go get um, Juan and kind of show you where you need to start. But again, it's all going to be, you're just kind of easing the pager in there. It's not this big, right, hitting, stimming it and doing all this. It's nothing like that. And I've got some videos, and tell me how old the dog is that you're going to train. Uh, but I've got some videos of some very, um, very young dogs. So I'll be right back. I'm going to try to get a video of him jumping. Oh, he's getting ready to go running by here. Yeah, but he's, I'm, nothing I'm doing is stopping the momentum. It's just driving it around. I'm just, I'm just jumping behind the wheel of this thing for a minute. And that's why it works. I mean, I'm not saying shut it down, sit, wait. You know, he's actually defaulting to... Ah! I don't have my good... You know, what I should have, sit. What I should have is uh, that stuff to squirrel. You said, what would happen if you do that? Oh, I'd really start killing squirrels. You know, but again, that's why these... Stimmers and all these people, they don't have any trained retriever. The dog isn't going to go away from them. Sit. Go, he started to go out the gate. Oh, he's jacking me. I mean, alter. I mean, that's a wrap. All right, you guys, I'll be right back. Oh, no, there's Molly. That lady yesterday said that was the itchiest, back-scratchingest dog she'd ever seen. I said, oh, I don't doubt that.